It's okay. Are we live? Yes, we're live. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. How's everyone doing this evening? Audio okay? Video okay? We have Mike with us, printed, Stefan, Andrew, 3D printing with Heath, 3D Maker Kid, Gordon H. will probably be here later because his kids are still awake and they're not tired. <laughs> hey, Vanni, good evening. Terry, how's everyone doing? I, I'm back to my routine. I'm back to sleeping normal hours. Well, normal. Chesh, Philip. Brit Hawks. I know. So yeah, I'm back from Murph. Oh man, what an experience. What what an absolutely amazing experience Murph is. If you ever can attend Murph. Um, I'm really hoping that 3D Meetup Sweden will grow as much as Murph has. Um, don't see a beer. I forgot the beer. <laughs> I forgot the beer. Oh well, we'll do it without the beer. Uh, so yeah, in three weeks time, um, I'll be at the 3D meetup in Sweden. Uh, so hopefully I get to see some more of you guys there. Hey, Veronica, Niels, guten Tag. Hi, Joe. Ah, <laughs> oh, Stefan is still, is still streaming. Thanks, eccentric nut. Jay's 3D Adventure, adventure sorry. <laughs> Avishai Kruger, hello. <laughs> okay, at Pupil, it was great to meet you at Murph. I was the guy with the printed eye patch. Awesome, I definitely remember you. It's kind of hard to forget a 3D printed eye patch. <laughs> yeah, um, Murph was, it was havoc. It was insane, and I was so... So not prepared for something like that. Um, I, I so thought it was going to be much more chill, I'd have more time to record, and I did not plan that thing out properly at all. It's I'm lucky enough to have had enough time as it was to actually record and speak to people. <laughs> when am I coming to England? I don't know. Um, we'll try to do 3D Meetup UK. We'll try. I'm not sure, though. So, tonight, I uh, just want to say I love your videos. Greeting from Costa Rica. Thank you, Rocker. You and Todd. So, tonight I'm putting together my red box. Um, I, while I was at Murph, I was sort of hanging around with the guys at Repcore. There was Pooch, there was uh, Mike Joe, Taranella, who is not Italian but has Italian heritage. <laughs> there was also Eddie Moser. Um, so yeah, uh, Pooch and Travis made me my rep box with custom panels and they look so awesome. And today I'm going to be putting it together. Lavadatu. Hello, man. What you'll choose? CR Tennis Pro or Prusa Mark 3S? Um, I'll probably always go with a Prusa Mark 3S for me personally. Um, it's just the machine I really trust. It was my second year, and even I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Paul, doing fine, thank you. When you move, the bits that move, lots of lines. Ugh. So, okay, yeah, unfortunately, so this is, this is the problem with that camera that's looking at me right there. It's a bit of an old camera. Um, I won't be using that a lot. Hopefully, in the near future, I'll buy another Panasonic, because that's just, just too good. Um, but... I do have this today, and this this doesn't have lies. Um, so yeah, we'll be we'll be going through. See, see, like my overhead camera. I have an overhead camera during live stream. How awesome is that? So yeah, we'll be putting this together. Wexter, Heather, hello. Where's the shoe waffles? No, no shoe waffles. I'm on. I'm on a diet, man. I'm on a diet. After spending a few days in 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 the USA, I need a strict diet. Can you explain the downsides of Prusa Stealth Mode? Except having crash detection would be great. Things. Um, downsides. It's slightly slower. 
that's the only and yes crash detection um is off but to be completely honest that's about it um if it's if it's a very complex print with lots of retractions lots of quick moves then i'd, I'd suggest you put it on normal um you might possibly but everything is set up so well on the pressure mark 3 that it's hard to have a downside the stealth mode it's you have crash detection off slightly slower but it's even more quiet so jimmy hello shana shana everyone's putting your logo and stuff yes for those of you who don't know jay's 3d adventure uh sent me a spool of filament which is over there um and has my logo on it it's so cool okay so we're going to be putting this together and we have for those of you who want more information on the rep box you can check the link in the video description from repcord and apart from that um i'm going to be mentioning this a few times tonight simply because i really want to so i somehow um, was nominated for the Community Advocate Award at the this year's 3D Industry uh, 3D Printing Industry Awards. I'm blown away, even for the fact that I, I was just nominated. So, if I could ask you, if you're up for it, there's a link in the video description. Just click on it. Uh, just type in your email address. Scroll down to number six. Choose 3D Maker Noob, and you'd make me a very very happy man. Um, if I win, oh man, it would be so awesome. If not, it's okay. I got nominated, which is already just something that just blows my mind. So thank you guys, especially for that particular award, the community advocate, which is so all I want to be <laughs> at this stage. So yeah, let's get back to this. Pooch is supposed to be coming around as well. Uh, need a couple of these I need a couple of these thank you very much Patrick okay so I, I need to okay Salt. Oh, I forgot to get So, Alan Keaton. Alan Keys, Alan Keys. Too big. Too small. Just right. So, planning for Earth. Um, I had a few talks while at Murph. There is a chance that I might have a sponsor for Earth, um, still to be confirmed. But it would be so awesome to attend Earth. Thank you very much, 3D Printing with Heath. Okay. Pooch is going to stay correcting me now because I'm not looking at instructions and stuff like that. And... Awesome, Frederick. Thank you very much. Okay, now I need this. It should technically go here. I have to say that this particular kit, I mean, I've, I've seen the red box on everyone's shelves for quite a while. There's quite a few parts to this. So, we need these, and I also need Nylox. Thank you, Veronica. Are you going to assemble this in one go? This is going to be a long stream. Nice. 
Um, yes, definitely assemble this in one go. So while we set up in four tables last year, and we'll probably do six tables this year. Awesome. Hey, Bernie. So while speaking of long streams, um, I um, a, a, during Murph, I was helping. <laughs> yes, I'm still going to use the word helping. Um, um, Eddie Moser put together his rail core. Oh man, the rail core was such an awesome machine. And uh, during that time, we were talking about the fact that, you know, it's impossible to build it in a day um, because it's, it's quite a tedious process to put it together. Um, and I think that's what I, that's one of the things I love about it the most. It's so complex. Hello, Chris. Um, so while we're talking with the rep cord guys, we kind of, uh, or the rail core guys, um, we, we kind of placed a bet that the, the day I decide to buy a rail core, which I will buy eventually, get a job, buy a rail core. Um, I made a bet with Eddie Moser. Um, for a hundred bucks that I will build it in a single live stream in one day. So <laughs> that will be interesting. Yeah, I saw that Stefan started the stream a while back. I was watching, I was, I, I joined him a bit. Um, but yeah, the other thing is it's Sunday, you know, I'll do a quick stream an hour and a half, two hours and then I have back to spending some time with my family. So we also need this, which goes in here, I'm assuming. Pooch, you need to tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Someone just lost a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably me, but yeah, we'll see when the day comes. So I'm hoping that I would be able to put that together in approximately 14 to 16 hours. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. A94 discovery. This one, nah, this won't be a long live stream. Haha, <laughs> ooh, chilies. Okay, so that's done. Hey, Maker Zord. Ah, okay, you have this to like hold these. Nice. I didn't know about that. Oh well. So that's done. Next. What is my favorite filament? Uh, it's a tough one uh, because I don't. I don't think I really have a favorite filament. There are a few that sort of stand out to me. Um, like, for example, the Rigid Ink Red Pidgey has always been like my one of my all time favorites. Um, Vertigo Gray, classic, I love it. Uh, the Rose and the Outer Edge, the Rear of the Faceplate, okay. Okay, Pooch. You cannot put like a quarter inch Phillips head screwdriver and then say 16 millimeter bolts, dude. <laughs> I need to find the, these. I'm not even sure this will work. No, this one's not good. Long streams are easy if the conversation is engaging. My long live stream was 13 and a half hours. Ow. 
Just want to say that your mood lamp is really cool and the one you're working on is looking awesome too. Cool. Thank you very much. Oh, that was one of the things that completely blew my mind um, when I was at, at Murph is the amount of people that actually brought their 3D printed, like the mood lamp that I, I did and they brought it there for me to sign. That just blew my mind. So, have you got a good recommendation for white PLA that would be good for painting? Yes, actually, Scaldi, I do. I think I'm, I'm putting on the wrong... Wait, hold on. So, the one... my One of my most favorite, favorite PLAs, um, like all the models that I do, that I paint, I use a Printer Pro um, Pearl White because it prints so nicely and evenly. Um, doesn't make much difference in terms of paint because it's not matte. You still have to do the undercoats and everything, but it just prints so well. It reduces any work when it comes to um, um, to post processing. So let me just check something very quickly, I'm making sure that I'm using the right screws. Mood lamp. I must have missed that. Oh. It had like, okay, so on, on YouTube, it only had like 20,000 views. Um, but on Instagram, that thing had over half a million views. So I'm assuming these go here. These are the ones. Country 3D. My man. That's one. Julian, careful. So, hi, Julian, and also, um, bye, Julian. There you go. I said hi. <laughs> ah, I need to learn to be polite, dude. Okay, next. We need this and this. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Okay, next, next part. I have to remember that the camera is here and I need to make sure that I'm there. It's so weird, like YouTube sometimes really doesn't like me, like really doesn't like me. Joe Mike Tarinella with the Italian heritage who is not Italian. How you doing, brother? <laughs> Yo, Kim, um, uh, this is a rep box. This holds five spools of filament and it holds them in the most uh, stylish way possible. British Columbia, Canada. Hello, Steve. Hey, Red One GHD thirty four. <laughs> now this. Hey, Jesse. Thank you for coming by and saying hi, dude. It was it was a very humbling experience uh, being at Murph. Um, having so many people come up to me and just, you know, the excitement in their eyes and I'm there like, like I, 
I, I don't know how to react to that. I really don't. Like, I'm, I'm okay sitting here, like, talking to a camera and you guys responding to me. <laughs> Which a rewinder for Prusa? Yes, this has a rewinder for Prusa. Um, I just haven't printed those yet. Still have Italian heritage per usual. I think you'll pick up some Italian heritage food for lunch. <laughs> so exactly. See, that's not Italian food. It's not made in Italy. <laughs> it's Italian inspired. <laughs> Sean, how is the filament drying system holding up? It's holding up really well. I still use it. Um, although I have to admit that the parts that I had printed in PEG tend to, you know, with the weight of the spool and the heat. They tend to start losing their shape a little bit. They still work, but I think printing those in uh, ABS or ASA, it would have been much better. The hinge is marine grade vinyl. There you go. <sighs> Thank you very much, Heath. See you, Joe Mike. Hello, Ben. Good evening. What is ASA? ASA is filament that you ideally use uh, for anything that is outdoors because it can withstand all kinds of elements. Skip Transit, it is interesting how much you are able to inspire people is just a normal dude on YouTube. I can see how that would be humbling for sure. It just blows my mind. Joe, what is it you're building? I'm building a rep box. There's links in the video description to see what the final result is. But at this stage, it shouldn't be more than an hour, and you'll get to see it. Okay, so now we need some of these, three different parts. And then we need these, and we need these two. So let's start throwing in some of these in here. Logical waste, hello. I'm gonna need, need to use my hammer with some of these. Enter the hammer. This is so awesome. This is the best tool I have. Sides. Joe just got my fifth printer, Ender, Elder 3, Elder 3 or Ender 3, because I know, I think there is an Elder, I'm not sure. All right, okay, in all three, okay. But the rest, on both sides, I'm assuming. The mythical hammer, exactly. <laughs> 
Does this have a dehumidifier for it? No, but to be completely honest, that's something I spoke about to Repcord while I was there, like modifying it, making it my own, um, take the guts out of my food dehydrator <laughs> and having it sit inside as part of the rep box. That would be awesome. Ah. Okay, so that goes in there. Yes, they do. It does count. You can order your seal kit for this. So it's like fully sealed up. Um, I don't have one yet, but I will be getting one. So yeah. That's one. It's only two of those. Okay. Next. Is in the spool holder a buffer included? No, it's not. However, you can print the rewinding spool, which don't need a buffer. Okay, no, not that. Let's um, put this here for now. Then I need this. Which side do I need this on? Well, it's black over there, so. There, maybe, there. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, Pooch. <laughs> How bad is the humidity here? Um, here, it can, it can get relatively bad. Um, over 95% sometimes. So, please still be along the edge of this. It does not have any tabs. Okay. Insert two, 16 mm brush through the steel supports beam and base plate. There are four holes stores, so leave the holes on the very ends empty. There you go. And the center two holes are shown in the picture. Okay. Flip the base panel over. So if this is simply constructed in page one. Now, being careful to keep the two bolts inserted, uh, there should be enough bolts sticking out through the top of the base panel to complete the step. Take the face assembly constructed in stage one and face it down outside. Okay, okay, so this goes in here, I'm assuming, through these holes. So forgive me if I don't, I'll catch up with the chat in a bit. You push them through, take the front tag guide panel, which I'm assuming is in this. It goes there. I'm like, no, they're fine, they're fine. Uh, Base panel bolts laid on the top base panel, sandwich the vinyl between them, secure the bolts in place with nylon. Okay. In there. Joe, I have an RC channel with 10k subs, but I have bipolar and 3D printing. This makes me so chilled. It, it does. 
It really calms you down. 3D printing definitely calms you down. So. When will the wall be finished? Hopefully by next week. Um, next week I'll be going to get uh, I'll be going to get the uh, the base plates the the wood base um, laser cut so then I can finally put it all together. I just have so many things going on right now. <laughs> okay, that looks fine. Now. Okay, so place one of the prepared L brackets inside the steel support. Okay. Beam facing outwards, security in place using, okay, 16. So that goes there. Your thoughts about the outer wine spool holder? Is it the best solution yet? Um, I I only saw it at Murph. I love um, I love how it works. It's just it's easy. It's three D printable, and if something goes wrong, you can always reprint one. Now another one. I just realized I didn't put this in the center. How dare I? So here's what I did. I tightened everything without actually sliding this to the center. Perfect. Are you seeking new Formlabs printers? Seeking as in, do I want them? Um, I can definitely not afford Formlabs printers. Um, I'm open to review one and try one, but definitely not buy one. For those who actually read the instructions, I don't. I don't read instructions. Okay, they're just there for general direction. <laughs> it's like speed limits. <laughs> they're just there as an indication, you know, of like this is what you should be doing, like ideally, but you don't necessarily have to. <laughs>
Would you review my 200? Um, if I ever had one, yo, def definitely. <laughs> definitely. Hopefully in the future. Okay, so. This is looking nice. Next, okay. So this is the use of brackets. Chesh Mihao, how are you? Bardzo dobrze, dziękuję. A te? Way to hinge everything down till the box is framed up. For the reason you encountered with the bar shift. Okay, by the way. Okay. So, okay. Now I think I need this. This is the one that does that. Unless it's this. No, it's this. So line up the rear. I have to say, you know, for like, for what people say is like a little box for filaments, this is actually well thought out. Well done. Hey, Yogi. Uh, holes in the back of this. I'll find out the rear track. I finish instead of these filaments are 260 millimeters. So we're going to insert them this way. Fajnie mówić to po polsku. Trochę rozumiem po polsku, ale nie zbyt dobrze. <laughs> So I, I can understand a little Polish. Um, I can speak it a little bit. And reading it after I read very slowly, I can then I, I can then make out. Uh, Adam told me that my um, my Polish is half decent, <laughs> basically. <laughs> On the no seal kit version, you generally have the rear face plate flipped over so only black is vi visible from the outside. Okay. Ah, uh, all right. Okay. 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 Fair enough. That's fine. Don't worry about it. So, after I'm going to be with track guys, if you do. Okay. We have these three. Cinque at them. Why can't I fast forward? <laughs> because it's live, dude. Um, now, do I need the ones with the thingamabob inside? Three square nuts pressed in. One at each end. The remaining bracket would only two squared nuts pressed in each end in the center. Hold on. Okay. Badumts. <laughs> okay. After lining up the rear track guide uh, on the unfinished side of the side vans, it's insert 60 millimeter bolts through the rear track guided. Okay. Those are done. Then screw on the brackets with three square nuts pressed in. Brackets with nuts pressed in on each end. Okay, I'm assuming it's like this. So, pooch, just to confirm, the ones with the square nuts in the center go on the outside. I'm assuming, and this one goes on the inside. Now I'm understanding it better. 
Have you any San Miguel left, Joe? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, oh, San Miguel is awesome. I'm a new subscriber, so surely have been asked before. But do all language geeks have a secret love of Esperanto? <laughs> I'm not even sure what Esperanto is. I probably do though. <laughs> I time an hour build. Uh, I'm thinking an hour and a half. Like uh, the the live stream, I have a budget of an hour and a half for the live stream. So, but there's no rush. It's only been like thirty seven minutes. Okay. So that's done. Okay, okay, check your work. I'm checking my work and my works look, my work looks absolutely awesome. So there. <laughs> Any maple syrup left I sent you? Uh, no, unfortunately I'm out of maple syrup. I got some with me from Murph. <laughs> Someone brought me maple syrup, it was awesome. <laughs> Make me feel inadequate as if, dude. So, we have a back panel now. Okay, so that goes on. So this would be... Uh, huh. Esperanto is a contract, constructed language that was attempt to create a universal language. I'd, oh, see, now you got me interesting. Interested. <laughs> hey, true sculpted printed minis. Uh, then insert the K, careful send the whole assembly upright. Use three to fix the back panel to the K to the base panel. So we're going to do this over here. And then we're going to put this over here. And then we're going to put it upside like this. Hold on so you guys can see what I'm doing. One, two, three. Sorry. Let me, there you go. See? Rap cord. I'm swagging rap cord as well. You know what would have been good for me to check if the um, <laughs> if the nut was still in place before I started. Hold on. Wait, let me put even that one is fell. Okay. So I dropped. I dropped my nuts. Oh my god! Please don't get offended, anyone. <laughs> so I'll start with that. And then we'll do this. I was wondering if you plan to test the Mosquito Hot End in the future. To be completely honest, when I was at Murph, um, I, I was planning on actually buying a Mosquito Hot End. Um, I didn't get to do it on Saturday because it was so busy. I did manage to speak to the guys. 
um, for Mosquito Hot End. But on Sunday morning, they had already packed and left. And they left me high and dry. And uh, so instead I went on to try and buy the last remaining Mark III extruder. Because that was my budget for, for let's call it, silly expenses. Um, and I wanted to buy something before I left. But the, the Mosquito guys weren't there, so I went to buy the Mark III extruder, or the Mark II S extruder, uh, from Bontech. Um, and they decided to sponsor it um, in order for me to make a couple of videos on it. So that was awesome. Um, so I will be ordering uh, a Mosquito Hot End, for sure. Okay. Okay, okay. That's another step done. Top assembly. So we'll need the top hinge, which I think is... I think it's this. And then, why don't we see Zest remote extruders more often? Hamza, um, I'll, I'll be getting one of those very soon because I spoke to the guys at Zesty. Actually, actually, to be honest, they came up to me uh, to speak to me. Um, the owner will be back in Australia mid-April. As soon as he's back, he's going to send me one to try out. So this, I think this we can put, let me put on the side here for a minute. Let me just, see, there, see it now? <laughs> okay. So this, I need, put three. So stand the panel on one side of the hole, the top of the closest to you. Wait. All right. So one. So one of the things, like the first things first, because um, a lot of people say that. Um, slice hot ends are expensive to be honest um it's not going to be so much difference uh different price wise from um a legitimate hot end like a whole hot end like e3d hot end uh, but i really love something they said and that is that the hot end or the heat block is part of the structure of the hot end and so and just a few days before I, I ripped the thermistor of one of my printers because I was changing nozzle because of that particular reason. So, yeah. Of course I have moves. A little bit. It is cold, but come on, man. <laughs> One, two, three. So this goes here. Remember two holes, place the clamp bar over these four bolts so that it says. So no bolts just yet. No bolts yet? Let me confirm. Yes, bolts. You need bolts. Ha! Step three does not say you need to use nylocks. But on the photo, it has nylocks. So there. Mistake, pooch. Mistake. Unacceptable, dude. <laughs> hey, Burmeister. Uh, so, Mosquito Hot End, the main purpose is that to 
that they have one of the best um, cooling system, like even without a fan. Um, for most, a lot of filaments, you don't actually need a hot end fan because they use like this uh, in, uh, medical grade um, metal for the, uh, the heat break, um, which just instantly cools. It's like 0.75 microns thick. So I'm using Nylox here, but it just says, um, place the clamp over bar, top exposed bowl, so that it's edge, huh? Yeah, exactly, it doesn't say Nylox. Shame, shame. No worries, 3D Sculpted. Thank you very much for coming by. Skip Transit. I like languages. Um, I really, really like languages. And if I try to speak a language, I try as much as I possibly can to get also the accent right. Okay, that's, that's stage three ready. Stage four. Side panels, ooh, no, no, it's the fun part. Someone needs some nut drivers. Yes, I do. I thought about them today, actually. Okay. Now, ooh, this is the fun part. This is, oh, this is the fun part. My pretty, pretty side panels, they're just gorgeous. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the your steel side panel over top of the unfinished side of your MDF, unfinished side of the MDF. So there, that makes more sense. Okay. Through from the underneath the side panels and through the mount of the magnetic catch, which would be where's the magnetic catch? Okay, there and there. Yep. That's one. Place a square nut on top of the bolt with its flat edge against the magnetic catch. Okay, one of these. Thanks, Patrick. So I'm not going to tighten those just yet, um, mainly because I want to adjust the final position later. Okay, let's do the other one as well while we're at it. One of the things that I like about this kit <laughs> is that it's it's all most of the bolts are like there's only like two or three different sizes of bolts so very little to be confused about daniel castillo hi love you love you too brother <laughs> so today one of the things um that people told me about um at murph very surprisingly at least four people brought it up saying how much they enjoyed my vlogs and how much they missed them. Um, and it was 
weird to me because I I didn't think that many people like enjoy them. And the reason why was because, you know, like having like, I don't know, 40,000 subscribers and then you get like 3,000 views on a vlog. I thought that people just didn't enjoy them, which is why I kind of had stopped doing them. Um, it wasn't because... You better put some extra in here. Ouch. It wasn't because I don't enjoy doing them. It's simply because I thought people don't enjoy watching them. Gordon H. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. So today, I kind of decided, okay, let me just do a quick vlog and, you know, record a little bit today. I'll record a little bit tomorrow. And then I can just upload something throughout the week. Um, and I spent, no kidding, I spent 20 minutes talking to the camera, walking around the office of all the things I've been doing, of all that's coming up and everything. So, like, within half an hour, I had, like, a full vlog ready. So I'll be releasing that tomorrow. <laughs> Next, place is square not uh, top of the ball to the flat edge against the beginning. Attach a universal bracket to the top. Okay, so I'm guessing these. We'll need these. So, yeah, I'll be doing vlogs again. I promise I will. Actually, I already have. Like, this week. We'll see my first, my return of the vlog. <laughs> my Google opinion rewards belong to you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Marcus. Tony, not just yet. You could do like Joel, put them on a separate channel. I do, I, I have... Um, just Joe, which I still have to try to figure out what I want to do with that channel. Um, so that's that's a possibility, actually. To the middle hole, so that the flat edge is facing the rear of the box using a 60 millimeter bolt. So if that is there, then this must be here. Hey, Stefan, sorry, I, I I, didn't know you were doing live stream like until then, and I thought you'd be finished by now, so um, thank you for coming by, dude. Stefan is an awesome dude. He has this contagious smile. It was so awesome meeting him at Murph. Shana, shana, Donnie. Trying to see. Wait, hold on. Okay, I did that wrong. That's not how it's supposed to go. So this was supposed to go in here, I guess. Because that. Yeah, hold on. Like that. Like that. Morgan Bailey, thank you very much, dude. I've made three of your mood lamps as night lights for my kids. Excellent work, my friend. Thank you very much. My daughter has one as well, actually. <laughs> See you at 3D Meetup Sweden. Thank you very much. See you soon. So that, on the top of the bolt with its flange, okay. Attach universal bracket to the top of the side panel. Assembly just above the mag catch. The U bracket should be bolted on through the middle hole so that the bolt, okay, so I'm just facing, okay. So 
So let me take these out just in case I don't need them. Worst comes to worst, I can just put them in later. It's not a problem. But I don't want to risk not having enough, just in case. And that should go here. Really liked your video about Murph Joe, which I could have been there, but I'm allergic to ice and weather below zero degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Very fashionable. <laughs> it is. So that goes there. I'm assuming that I'm going to need one on both sides. Pooch, correct me if I'm wrong. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay, so that goes somewhere there. A skewed view 3D. Thank you for the ten dollars, dude. Gonna scan out. Keep kicking hearts. FYI, we will be modeling original Shazam stuff from oh from comic on our Sunday SKU stream with Shalm and Sons at 9 p.m. EST tonight, shameless plug. Granted, and I, I don't know what time that is in, in Malta time. Plug away, buddy, plug away. So there you go, guys. Thanks, Joachim. Just realized I'm pressing on the microphone. Forgive me, guys. I just have to get this in place. There we go. So one, one, one nut on the side of the bracket, one on the top of the bracket, and yes, one on the side panel. One, one nut on the side of the bracket, one on top of the bracket, on the side, on the top. I'll see when I get there. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But yeah, it just shows one. So, okay. I don't have a seal kit, so I don't need that. Okay, so we're about to put everything together. So, we'll start off with this. Two p.m. now. All right. Okay. So in seven hours' time, I'll probably be asleep. Unfortunately. <laughs> Anyone who wants to share a picture with me of anything they do. Twitter is probably the best way to do it um, because I'm always on Twitter. So, uh, 
Um, it goes on the inside of the box. Okay. So that goes there. Um, the other way. And there. So that goes there. That goes there. And that goes, ooh, that's a nice fit. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> okay. One on the outside. So I'm guessing this is the one you were referring to? No. For someone who wants to start with 3D printing, what do you recommend to get as a first printer? Um, it all depends. I need, I really, really need to do a video on this. Um, so if you don't want to spend a lot and you just want it for the sake of trying out something, um, getting something like the Alpha Wise U30 or the Ender 3 will definitely be a good bet. If you're willing to spend a bit more because you want to hassle less, nothing beats a Prusa Mark III. It needs a way to lower blood pressure. Not a bad idea, actually. Sometimes, yes, I agree. Okay, and then... This it goes in here. This is so cool. No, put the wall mount there. Sorry for no, put the wall mount. Ah, wall mount. Okay, 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 okay. All right, the wall mount. I got it. I got it. Relax, relax. <laughs> okay. okay. Place top panel into the side panel by slightly tipping the rear panel out. So this way. Okay. This is looking so cool. Dave Brown, thank you for the 10 bucks. We can't wait to see your red bear. Oh yeah, my red bear. Uh, I should be getting delivery of the uh, of the rails tomorrow. I'm so looking forward to that. Um, huh? Please the remaining side panel on the top. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Oh, this is a nice snug fit. And then, okay, we're going to go to here and this. So. Look at that. That is so cool. And I did this wrong. So, let me just move this out a little bit, turn this around, there. Okay, and then we need one of these. Tweezers. Sounds like wood. It is wood. It's not acrylic. easier to just do this. There you go. That's one. Okay. 
aligning it would be ideal. There. Love my hammer. Evolution H2O Gaming, hello. Okay, then we need two of these. So they're almost one hour. I have another one. Somewhere there. So glad you're doing this so I know what not to do in a week or so. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, it's funny because that was the exact reason why I started doing live streams. Like literally. So people don't do the mistakes that I would do. Okay. Uh, now, any differ depending on whether or not you have the desktop kit or the optional wall mount. I have the optional wall mount. Press square nuts into one end of the center holes of the remaining universal bracket. So, over here, we're going to do these. Let me just check if they're all done. No, okay, so, I'm guessing this would go here. All right. Because then, the, no, it can be like that. It would have to be like this. And this would go into the wall and just attaches to that, I'm assuming. Exactly. Use the cleat that has the holes pre-drilled into the ends. Exactly, that was it. Uh, line up the cleat to the back of the box and fasten with the one inch truss head screw. What's a truss head screw? I'm assuming it's one of these black ones. these because that would make sense the longer of the screws with the full screw that I fasten to the panel dude Ouch, man. Thank you very much, buddy. Want a job as a pro red box assembler? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm taking my sweet down with this because I want to chat. Thank you very much, Pooch, man. Thank you so much, dude. Next kind of whatever is in channel later on today. It looks like. Thanks, eccentric nut. So, fasten the top panel to the wood clear using the three fourth inch. So, three quarter inch. I'm assuming it's this one. Yep, that would make sense. Man, dude, I have to say, this thing put, like, it goes together so beautifully. Warm and 
Let's go into me. Want to drill the hole in the pre marked location on the inside of the rail? Okay, no, that's not needed. Okay. Acrylic lid. This is sweet, man. Like, awesome sweet. Okay, let me just put this on the sides here. How many printers are you up to now? Uh, if I had to count even the ones that I don't use at the moment or the ones that I'm about to give away, over 50 for sure. Still in there. This looks so good. Like it looks sexy. Like really sexy. And now that I have wood paneling on the wall, I can just mount this on without having to drill into concrete. When are you doing the giveaway? Um, I tend to do, I have to catch up with a lot of giveaways on my Patreon because I tend to give uh, the printers, most of the printers I review to my Patreons. To be honest, I fell back quite a bit, um, <laughs> financial reasons. Um, but yeah, that's hopefully, hopefully um, that will sort itself out very soon. But the printers I review, I could just give those to my Patreons. Okay. Next. We need... Let me just put this on the side for now. Then we need this. Just uh, what about having someone like Joe produce the boxes for you if you get the tools for it? I, 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 it's not. I would. I would love to. The problem is that I, it wouldn't be worth it for Malta for me to produce anything for anyone. To be honest, um, is just a hassle for Malta. Now, if I go live in the U.S., that's a different story. Any chance of getting Joe to sign the same end plates he has and making a 3D MN signature edition? That would be awesome. But uh, I mean, I see stuff like that boggles my mind to me. Like, I, I mean, I get, okay, so, you know, when you meet someone, you want their autograph. Like, even for me, I, you know, if I see someone like popular or famous, I want their autograph, I want a photo. To be completely honest, on my way to Murph at the airport, I met um, a singer in Malta. He came like second place in Malta's X Factor. Uh, his, name, his name is Owen Llewellyn. And I saw him there and I had a fanboy moment, you know, and I didn't want to ask the guy for a signature or a selfie. I just smiled at him. He knew I recognized him and that was it. But, and I, I get that excitement. It's just that it's weird to me that someone has that same reaction to me. They just, it cannot compute in my head. <laughs> uh, yes, I met with her. That was one of the, her last appointments because now the, uh, the person has changed. Now it's a guy. And just after she met me, uh, she had a car accident. So <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything, but yeah. Okay, so now we need these. 
go in there. goes in there and then we need lock nuts so I'll grab one just to make sure it's ready So you know that it's true actually because in EU to ship stuff from Malta to EU, it's not that expensive. Um, so yeah, in that case, yeah, I could produce the Malta for EU. I need a laser cutter. <laughs> but then I'm scared that if I get a laser cutter, um, then I'll be too happy with it and start doing my own projects. <laughs> start playing with it too much. Phil Kelly. Ah, dude. So, guys, Phil Kelly had one of the most awesome things at Murph. Um, it was not a 3D printer. It was not like a massive project or anything. It was... I dropped another lock nut. Um, it was a fully... 3D printed autograph book, and it was so cool. And I'm so happy to like sort of, I, I, oh, I could get my, I, I had a page just for me. It was so awesome. Okay, almost there. So that's done, now we can take that off. This box is some serious stuff. Like it's like, dude, this is really well made, like, well done. Like this is so professionally made. Like just looks amazing. Just it looks really amazing. Well done. Okay, so now handle. Press square nuts into the sides of base handle. Okay, so these 
I need. I'm guessing this would go there. So this, I'm guessing, okay, because that's the thing with the thing. Right. Okay, because this doesn't have the key just yet, so I can just do this in one go. Perfect. Okay. So, two of these nuts in there. Ah, Country 3D. Ye of so little faith, my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. Happy making to you too, brother. Where's my... Um... There. To the builder. <laughs> the acrylic Pro tip, print the snap rollers. I have a Thingiverse and you can fit six kilos in there, 75 meter or less across. Ooh, nice. Seal kit, seal kit. So now we have so cool. Like, wait, wait, hold on. I don't know if the camera is still buggy. How awesome is that? Like, that is so cool. Like, so, so cool. <laughs> includes adjustable exit fitting holes that allow you to use the PET feed tubing. Okay, so. Uh, I'm guessing these will go down here. So, one, two, so this goes here. One, two, okay.
Michael Worth, I have to leave. Let's have a beer in Sweden. End of this month, draw season. Thank you very much, dude. And yes, 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 definitely yes. Let's. So right now I'm just putting these in here. Instructions, but I'm assuming so. Seriously, blown away, but how well, <laughs> but how well. Um, by how well this thing is is so well done. Like this is serious stuff. So you have either top or bottom inlet. Um, the top outlets, sorry, outlets, not inlets. Uh, the top outlets would definitely be for something like. Um, the palette. Um, so if you want to have it on top and then it goes out from the top to the printer. On this, of course, you put the palette upside down, which is what I'm going to do because I want to have this hanging on the wall. Very proudly, I must say. <laughs> I'm going to go make burgers. Oh. Frenzy. I still haven't met Filament Frenzy yet. So, now, side door thingy, my bob. Bolt your 3D printed lid, prop on your preferred side. Right. So, I would assume that it goes like this, right? Doing fine, RC. How about you? So this would be, oh, schnazzy. So yes, uh, this thing will ship worldwide. 
<laughs> but you have to, at the moment, you have to contact uh, RepCore directly to get estimates. But it will ship worldwide. Like everywhere. Like even on Christmas Island. Everywhere. Morning, Andrew. This is so cool. Ta -da. Okay. I don't have the sealed gaskets. Um, no, what I can do is. <laughs> I'm going to tighten these. Hey Joe, are you planning any more airbrushing painting videos? Yes, I am, man. Um, I am preparing a space up here in the office where I can have like an airbrush station um, because it's much easier for me to record up here at the moment than it is to record in my garage. But yes, more are coming for sure. Last step is the filament rollers, but ultimately, I mean, come on. Look at that thing. So these are the things for the wood bracket, which I have to put on, but that comes tomorrow, not today. So there's good rollers, you have the thingamabob and the thingamabob. These. Okay. One. So we assembled it in like an hour and a half. So not bad. Pooch. How does that sound? Like one hour. Is it okay? Is it acceptable to you? <laughs> one hour? No, I haven't actually imagination to form. Nice, man. Okay, so then we have these. I'm assuming it goes in there. This goes in here. Then I need uh, these. Okay. All right. And these go in here. I think I'm using the long screws, is it possible? No, I guess these are the only ones there is. Okay, yes, that's correct. Ah, ah, that's why. Because then you need to put another one there. One there. There. Print the snap rollers on Thingiverse. Okay, noted. 
will do. Just leave those there for now. I think I um I think I saw that there were the ones that you were using at Murph. I saw those and I thought to myself, like, that is cool. <laughs> Joe, that box should be a giveaway. That was a giveaway to me. <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe maybe we should. Like 50,000 subscribers is approaching. Um, yeah, exactly. Doubt who will give it away. No, I'm not going to give this away. But 50,000 subscriber mark is approaching. Um, chances are that I will do some kind of giveaway. So uh, maybe I'll purchase one from Pooch and have it ship to a winner. We'll see. I deserve 10 boxes. I can tell you that this is not the last red box I will have in here. I can assure you, because this is just way too clean. Um, I can see like a wall of these <laughs> would be awesome. Anyone supporting Kodama Obsidian? Ooh. <laughs> Noted Pooch. Perfect. Not only that, I'm, I'm going to get to say goodnight to my daughter tonight. Because she goes to bed by nine. So I'll have time to finish this up and go say goodnight to her. And the thing is, or you can say that now about Kodama, but you know, like the first Kickstarter delivered, their second Kickstarter. The thing is, I'm I'm sure they will. Um, the thing is, I believe. Okay, I believe. It's not. I'm sure. I believe they will deliver on the Obsidian. Um, it's just, I think it did more harm than good, to be honest. Um, to the reputation of the company. Oh, I'm missing a long screw. Probably. Wait, hold on. Don't need a long screw. Oh, I'm missing a screw. I'm missing a long screw, pooch. But it's okay. It's not a problem, actually. Because I will be printing the snappy thingy with the jigger that she sold me. Unless I put it somewhere and I'm not seeing it. Which I wouldn't be surprised because it wouldn't be the first time that happens. <laughs> that goes in there. Take that out. Travis, a pyro design dude, don't tell him that. This was like really difficult. It's just that I'm really good at it, you know? 
Now, I have a feeling that I dropped one earlier. I, I wasn't sure because I heard, or like while I was putting everything in, I was checking everything, I heard something fall, but I wasn't sure. It didn't sound like um, <laughs> a screw. Um, but now I'm guessing it was, so I'll have to look for it. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I have way too many screws around. Greg's the great. Hey, buddy. Yeah, thing is, that's the thing. And the problem is that now Kodama are going to try to catch up to technology. And it's going to be a little too little too late. Okay. Sorry if there's aliasing going on. But look at that. Look at my look at my red box. Hold on. Let me pop up the hood for you. How good looking is that? This is um oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't need so this would fit there. I think I can fit three six up on that wall alone. Don't have the other wall. I can easily fit another ten over there, maybe fifteen. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Pooch, get your shipping to Europe sorted. Because <laughs> I want more. <laughs> It's beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. I can just put these in here. Oh, and they fit so perfectly. There. Hold on. Wait for it. There. Had some spools ready. cool is that? Like, let me close the hood and we start the engine. Oh, can I make engine sounds? Like, vroom. <laughs> can it play Crisis first test print? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so happy. Thank you very much, Rapcord. Thank you, Pooch. Guys, check them out. <laughs> okay, that went on nicely. It's been a while since I actually put together something on this channel that took more than an hour. Hey, Christopher, doing well. Thank you very much. I'm about to say goodbye to everyone and head off to bed. Long week ahead. I have so much to do this week. I have the new lamp to release before possibly Friday. All I can tell you, this is the only hint I'm going to tell you, it has to be released before the first episode of Game of Thrones. Just has to. Yes, I can put lighting inside as well. I can put speaker. Who put speakers? I think Joe Mike put speakers in his and lights. Um, turned into a boombox. <laughs> so yes, for those of you who are still here, how many of you are still here? There's still 161 of you here. So. If, uh, first of all, go check out Repcord and the video description below. Um, they have, apart from this, they have some awesome filament. Secondly, the link below that is for the 3D printing awards, which have been generously nominated for the community advocate. If you feel inclined, please vote for me. Um, winning that award <laughs> would be an awesome thing for me. Um, and it's funny, it's not just for me. Uh, I'm thinking more about Malta, you know, like my country. Like, I come from nowhere. So something like that would just be mind-blowing. And that is it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Much love to you all. Thank you for your support. Um, thank you to Repcord for, well, sponsoring this episode uh, through um, the donation of my Rep box. Uh, it looks absolutely awesome. Make sure you check them out. Um, for everyone else, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and as always, 
I'll be making guys. Have a good one, everyone. See ya.